Hello everyone, and welcome back to a little game called Skyrim. Uh, I'm not even going to give you a synopsis. If you want to watch this, you might need to watch the last episode, because things are really, really heating up now. Uh, I mean, I guess I should. We're, we're at, we're with the, uh, I think High Hrothgar now. We have to head out to Skyrim, but... Uh, we need to basically create a truce between the Whitebeards and the Imperial Legion. And the Imperial Legion, that won't be too hard, because they won't try to kill me. The, the, um, the other guys, however, uh, I don't know if I'll be quite so lucky, so, yep. Let's talk to General Tullius first, because he and I are bros, I'm part of the Legion. If you're looking for opportunities to make some coin, well, I'm... Everyone needs work, right? I have good work I've already for you. spoke to his goofy out. It would be best if we spoke little until we've got Hey, watch it! Shut up. I could just destroy you if I wanted to. Alright. Heard they reforming the Dawn Guard. Mm. Tell me again why I'm wasting men guess. chasing after a fairy. Someone stole your sweet If Ulfric gets his hand on that crown, it won't be a fairy tale. It'll be a problem. Don't you Nords put any stock in your own traditions? I thought the Moot chose the, the king. The ways to the east, you'll find We're back in the Brine. When the Moot meets, they'll do the sensible thing. Not we will oust Ulfric from Windhelm. The Greybeards. What do those old hermits want with me? Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that, dragons or no dragons. I'll be the judge of that. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. Fair enough. We're driving the Stormcloaks back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember would just give me the reinforcements I've requested. Most of the legion is tied down on the border with the Aldmeri Dominion. The Emperor can't afford to risk weakening Cyrodiil's defenses. From the Imperial City, our war here is just a sideshow. An interlude before the main event against the Thalmor resumes. Yes, yes, fine, I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. So what? Ulfric gets this crown and then suddenly he... High King? No, it's not as simple as that. But the Jagged Crown... If it's arms or armor you need, see Baron in Castle Dauer. Okay. <sighs> Let's see... Head over to Windhelm. I'm gonna be dead serious. I didn't even know that the Stormcloak Rebellion was in Windhelm. And why isn't the Empire all spending their time on attacking Windhelm? Hail companion! The Imperials think us all lawless beasts. I'm proof of their ignorance. Ulfric won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. Yes, make it quick. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. 
Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Alduin, the world eater of song and legend. If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. Yes, I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You the Stormcloaks are finding victory across the land. If by message you mean shoving a sword... The Arl has put out a bounty on the dragon that's been terrorizing the countryside. Here, take a look at this decree for details. So we're ready to start this war. Travel safe. Then. It's dangerous out soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torik. Torik was merely a message to the other Yars. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. I love how I can just sit on the, the man's throne and there's no trouble. Things hinge on White Run. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. Fight, but if not, I will. The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Damn faithless and let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom, but people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Gotmar, why do you fight for me? I don't know. I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Yes, but why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose That's names super I cool. heard whispered in their last... So if we go... That must mean I've added a whole ton of things. Hey, nice. Okay, cool. I mean, ideally, at some point, I'll want to have seen everything. I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight for my people, impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves. I'm gonna be honest, boys, I think I might have picked the wrong side. The Imperials are very much the bad guys. I fight because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Ulfric. And that's why you will be High King. I'll come to your but council, words are but I learned. doubt any good will, will come the day of it. When soldiers like us I'll come to no your council, needed. but I doubt I will gladly I don't know how you convinced Ulfric to talk We're such a day to die. I... The Greybeards have called a peace council at High Rothgar. And can you believe it? Both Ulfric, Stormcloak, and General Tullius have agreed to go. Yeah, no crap, buddy. Alright, let's head. We'll have to check that place out. Look at Scar. Done it. The yep. men of violence are gathered here, in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. 
Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Aye. So, Arn Gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. They're my friends. Say, man, come on. as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this path. Were you? The hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. Delphi, we're not here to rehearse old grudges. The matter at hand is urgent. Aldrin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that Aldrin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. Ah, uh, very well. You may enter. We should get started. Alduin is only getting stronger. Yeah, man, all my friends are here. This is like the real culmination of of everything. Oh, yeah, they brought their boys, huh? that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of- insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos Hunter? That didn't take long. Hear, hear. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Yeah. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. What do you think? Are we going to let Alfric dictate terms to us before the negotiations even start? Wait, who's Elo <laughs> uh, Ellen Wynn? Okay, of the Thalmor to Skyrim. Yeah. I'm glad we see eye to eye on this. We walk then. No, we'll stay. There we go. Our respect for the dragonborn and our graybeard hosts. Oh, jeez, boys, I picked the wrong. Uh, nothing more. Yeah. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Alfric, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your farms and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our side? You know exactly. No, not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to resist. To a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Okay, Tullius is the worst character. Crap, boys, I picked the wrong group. Are you ready to proceed? Mm. Jarl Ulfric. General Tullius. 
This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar, and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely what out of character. I want in return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? I don't like this lady. The Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Where's Riften? Riften... Uh, okay. Capital city of the Rift. Look at southeast corner fold. Uh, Dawnstar. Ah, uh, I'm honestly not sure which to pick. I feel like I prefer Riften. In exchange for Markarth, the source of most of Skyrim silver. Hardly. Riften seems like a better choice to me. Well fortified, easily resupplied from across Lake Honric. Plus all the mead we can drink. I'm glad you agree. I was okay. starting to wonder whose side you were on here. <laughs> you heard the man, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expect a better from you, Dragonborn. Okay. I came here in good faith, despite your known Imperial sympathies. Oh, sorry about that. As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Garmar was right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markarth, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to the Thalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false empire. Let's go, Galmar. Wait, 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 wait. You in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphine? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does Shut it have up. to do with the... If he's right about Alfred, we I really don't like her. much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now, back to the matter at hand. Shut up. Hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it me. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. You surrender Yalmarch to us, and take Idgrad Ravencrone with you. 
Surely the Builder will take over as Jarl of Morthal. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. What say you, Dragonborn? You treat us fairly. Thank you. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. Jarl March will be turned over to Ulfric, with Sorli the Builder assuming the Jarl ship. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Elisif? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. I am giving Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes. For a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Taking control of the Rift was a great victory. Ulfric must be rather nervous with us so close to his doorstep. Come on, Galmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragon. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this These dragon. terms are satisfactory to my government. Remains. The truce How is unlikely to last long in any case. Dragons reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Ah, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power, shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Oh. Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in this scroll. Oda Fing, winged snow hunter, as I read it. I'm afraid there's just one more thing. I see. Oh. I know that's fine. We needed his help. Now we don't. And it's long past time for him to pay for his crimes. And he's not just any dragon. He was the right hand of Alduin. Yeah. He committed atrocities so infamous they are not ask. remembered thousands of years later. Did not ask. He needs to die. He deserves to die. No. And it falls to you to kill him. Until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you.
Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. <laughs> Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. Okay, well, I'm, uh, uh, yeah, just not helping y'all, so. You'll have to speak up, but. Uh, okay. To death. Uh, quest. Yeah, I guess I'm just, I mean, I like them and all, but, uh, I'm just gonna have to go without their help. Maybe I can go talk to Parthenax and just see if there's like another way to do this. I'm gonna go, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go to the third of the world. Then I'm gonna quick I'm gonna save. So I'm gonna save right here. I, I just wanna see. Is if I come speak to him. Drem your look. Greetings. The blades are wise not to trust me. Oni Khan Miov. I would not trust another Dova. Dov Walan Farel. We were made to dominate. The will to power is in our blood. You feel it in yourself, do you not? A little bit. A little bit. I can be trusted. I know this, but they do not. Mm. Only Khan Neov Dova. It is always wise to mistrust a Dova. I have overcome my nature only through meditation and long study of the way of the voice. No day goes by where I am not tempted to return to my inborn nature. Zim Griforvut se suyech. What is better, to be born good? or to overcome your evil nature through great effort. Odaving will come to your challenge. Bozik, Krilot, he will not be able to resist your call. From the hill of the Dova itself, he will come. Yeah, you know what? Uh, they were like my original allies, but um, I'm not going to be helping them. I'm not. I'm not marking them, just because they told me to. I can't help them. Well, uh, I will say though, that is going to be it for this episode, uh, and we will have to get back in the very next one. But uh, yeah, man, this is this is pretty cool. Um, yeah, things are really heating up, and I can't wait for the next one. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you there. Uh, until next time, goodbye.